Valkyrie is the story of the attempted coup and assassination of Adolf Hitler by the German resistance. Out now on DVD, we decided to score the film on historical accuracy. Colonel Klaus von Stauffenberg, played by Tom Cruise in the film, is probably the most famous figure of the German resistance for his role in the plot to assassinate Hitler in 1944. In the film, he begins by talking about his concern for the plight of the Jews. Actually, in real life, his main motivating factor was disillusionment with Hitler's military command after the Battle of Stalingrad in 1942. What is going on? The Fuhrer is dead. The SS are staging a coup. We've initiated Operation Valkyrie to crush the uprising and save Hitler's Germany. You will present the order to your troops. I will do no such thing until I speak to General Fromm. You will follow your orders or you are under arrest. The plot failed. Hitler joked later that his backside had been bruised as blue as a baboon's, but he escaped serious injury. Those at the centre of the coup attempt were not so lucky. Within 48 hours, many of them were rounded up and shot. On the 21st of July 1944, there was a wall here. In the very early hours of the morning, Stauffenberg was brought out here to be shot by firing squad. And the filmmakers of Valkyrie were actually eventually able to film on this very spot. In one of the most shocking scenes in Valkyrie, General Ludwig Beck asks for a revolver for personal reasons. You know what's going to happen next. He shoots himself in the head. I'm thinking of earlier times. Except, in real life, it didn't happen quite like that. What happened in this room right behind me here is that Beck was given the revolver, tried to shoot himself in the head, but his hands were trembling, so he missed. He just grazed his forehead. He then was in such a terrible state that when he tried to shoot again, he missed again and just shot himself in the head and collapsed and was left bleeding to death on the floor. Nobody helped him, nobody finished him off. He was just left to die here while the others left the room. This is Goering's Air Ministry one of the first proper Nazi buildings built in Berlin in 1936. It's used in the film Valkyrie as an exterior location, just this courtyard out the front of it. They set off from here when proper Operation Valkyrie kicks in. In real life, this building was no part of the plot to assassinate Hitler. Problem is, today in Berlin, it's very hard to find original Nazi buildings. A lot of them have been demolished because they were Nazi buildings. This is one of the very few that remains almost exactly as it was in the 1930s except they've taken the eagles holding swastikas off the gates. Valkyrie scores highly on historical accuracy. There's great attention to detail, and the facts that have been changed, for the most part, aren't central to the story. But in Tom Cruise's version of Stauffenberg, the film has a cardboard cutout hero who doesn't hold a candle to the real thing. You never feel like you get beneath the surface of this fascinating man. Stop! Stand down! I said stop! I said stand down! 